That's that's a thing that I've noticed online a lot. Oh, EDM pro tip. Tune your kick. Dude, shut up. A kick is like a, a transient thing, you know, like. The problem with the track is really is the kick is way too much. If you were to play this in a club or a big system, you would just hear 30 hertz across the fucking board. You'd hear nothing else. It would just be like. It would just sound like that. You can still use the same kick, but you got to shorten the decay to like an eighth note. I find that the the better tracks have actually shorter kicks because they're using low end frequencies on synths and stuff like that. EDM producers these days like, "Oh, you got to you got to tune your kick. You got to tune your kick to the bass." I'm like, "Bro, kicks don't make bass. Kicks make kicks." Bass makes bass. Use bass for bass. You know, use a subosk or, you know, some kind of thing. You know what I mean? A kick drum is not a bass line. A kick drum is just literally, it could be a punchy little transient. It could be some, it can be at times, you know, be used as that fundamental bass frequency that the rest of the track spins around. But that very, very seldomly works. You have to basically write your track around a kick drum, which is stupid. You're not playing the kick in different pitches all over the in place unless you correlated the melody around that root note the whole track which you could it just doesn't make sense so like shorten that kick up so it's more like a transient and you're handling the bass with like a low synth with some little eq lift in the 30 hertz realm or 30 to 80 i mean it's it's definitely for styles but in this particular case you could get away with a much shorter kick even maybe even carve some of that low frequency down a bit because it's it's really on top of everything and it just squishes everything. Then and then then you're entering the realm of mixing, right? Which is an entirely different craft, but to be a musician, electronic musician today as I know it anyway, you have to be both a mix engineer and a producer and a songwriter and, you know, this and that. There's a lot of engineering tricks you can learn to make things sound a little more glued together than shit just stacked up on top of shit, you know what I mean? Like and just adding 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 until you can't add any more and you're distorting. Explore sounds and learn engineering. At loudness wars, I, I feel, are like totally done. Yeah, loud on the low end is... is Delorum just puts a sausage fattener on it. It's, it makes it way, way more louder. These maximizers or whatever flavor you're using, whether you're using a Pro L2 or, you know, the Waves L2 or all the C series, like Waves plugins and stuff like that, have a way of wave shaping it when it does peak. But if you if you go too far with it, then it's like literally sandblasting the curves off of your dynamic range. Got to kind of like a little bit. You know what? I did play around with Ozone a few times, uh, eight. Ran through some of the fucking presets. You know what I noticed? For them, any of them, to really sound good, I had to have a headroom of like 8 dB, not 6. 6 was even still too hot. What you want to look for is, you know, you have the two sliders. You have your input and then your final output. Leave the fucking final output. Don't fuck with that. That's fine. That's just going to pin everything at zero at the end of the fucking day, right? Bring, like, I found more often than not, if I'm mastering for 6 dB of fucking headroom or something on the track... I found bringing that input down an extra fucking two decibels or even four sometimes made a lot of difference. It was just beyond me as to why they didn't author those presets, like those master genre-specific mastering presets in Ozone, to have the gain input turned down a little more. Because it was just too hot every time. And I'm like, what? I'm doing this properly, right? Like, what? Well, I would assume, you know? And then every time I loaded up one of those presets, it would just instantly clip. Until I brought down the gain stage going into the plug. This is really weird. I don't know. But that's just my thoughts on it. Mm -hmm.